Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. There's a battle underway over the future. I'm not talking about the future of the planet or American democracy, but something you probably never heard of, the metaverse. That's a kind of 3D universe where, someday, you'll be able to work, shop, and play in a virtual space using an avatar. You know, a fake version of yourself. You don't know? Ask your kids. Anyway, it's going to be big. Facebook just announced it's spending $10 billion and hiring 10,000 people to build this thing. Other companies are in on it, too, like Ray-Ban, the sunglasses maker, which is making virtual reality glasses to access this brave new world. What do you find there? Nobody really knows, but maybe soon video conferencing will seem just like you're in the room where it happens. Or you can watch a football game where you're the quarterback, or go to a party looking like a real movie star. This could make reality obsolete, or at least boring. That seems to be what Mark Zuckerberg is counting on. The boss of Facebook knows its users are getting older. It's also under fire for promoting violence, hate speech, misinformation. Facebook needs not only a new product, but something to distract us from its problems. That's probably why Zuckerberg just announced that he's changing Facebook's name to Meta. Apparently he's serious about this Metaverse thing. Other troubled companies have pulled the name change caper without really altering their product lines, but Facebook desperately needs another winner, plus an end to its reliance on advertising for almost all its revenue. You'll be hearing a lot about the metaverse, not just as a business, but also a possible social problem. It sure does raise a few questions, like what exactly will be allowed there? Sex, violence, bullying, racism, political demagoguery. Who's going to police this thing? Also, will it worsen the division, dislocation, anxiety, the destruction of privacy that social media have already caused? Will it weaken our connection to the real world, which needs a lot of help these days? Who knows? One thing is certain. The big meta decisions will be made by tech guys like Zuckerberg, not you and me, and they're already making them. Welcome to the metaverse. What could possibly go wrong? I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County.